those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. There's a law of reception. You must discern who is this man? Who is this woman? Not in the flesh. What grace brought this result? Is it common? Should I trivialize it? And you come to a conclusion based on intelligent contemplation that there must be an ability at work in this man and his wife that is not common. And you submit to that understanding and the portals of their grace opens up to you. Even if they don't speak over your life, right there in your room, you will find out that you begin to reproduce possibilities. Listen, there are people who I have never met physically, but the depth of honor they have for me, they have almost reproduced the grace of God upon my life. Right there in their rooms. Did you know that I listen to my own teachings every day? And when I listen to my own teachings, when Apostle Joshua Selman is about to pray, I don't stand and say, I'm hearing myself. I say, Lord, as this man is praying, I receive. Listen. Sit down. Let me teach you something. Do you know why many men of God are not blessed by their own grace? Because the anointing, hear me. Honor is not human worship. I, there's a lot of nonsense going on. That's not what I'm talking about. Please don't confuse what we are dealing with here. Not just human worship. No, 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 no. A recognition. The grace that comes on a man as touching his office is for everybody, including him, if he will submit to it. So you can be dying and yet giving life until you discern that that grace, when I listen to my teachings, believe me, I don't listen and repeat myself. I listen with an open heart and I hear what I did not hear even while I was preaching. Listen, how many husbands come, two people, any two, well, don't carry anybody's wife, please. Husband, a, a, a man and a woman, or husband and wife, don't, don't come here with anybody's wife. Husband and wife, come. Stand here, stand here. God bless you, watch this. Do you know real value is not physical and that if i give you watch this can i bring that to you now watch this everybody this is your rand if i give you some money hold this give some to your wife if i give all to your wife <laughs> take this now watch this if you have physical money people say you are rich or you are blessed that's not true this is giving evidence to what is on you are you getting what i'm saying now human god stores his possibilities in men learn what i want to teach you there is no man that is empty there are human beings carrying mysteries that they themselves do not know now listen carefully this woman can carry favor that came from the blessings of her grandfather he did business with God and God covenanted that all your children, they will multiply. Now, she does not even know. Sit down. Let me teach you something. That's why I said honor starts with discernment. Here comes this man. He marries this woman and he does not know why he starts to rise. Even her, she does not know why someone just starts a relationship with you and in two weeks he got a job. And he says, you're a good woman. No? You too, you say you are. You don't know that something on you. Please listen to me. Hmm. I share with you the mysteries of the kingdom. Now, this man is rising and is doing well. And do you know that although she's his wife, she still has that spiritual component that represents an advantage a day can come in his life this man you see may love her as his wife but dishonor her as touching the grace god gave her when it has to do with that grace he will go down although they are married 
although they are having children together it will take the man now to say look you are my wife but i've discerned your dreams every time you have a dream it gives me direction the last 10 years of my life was correct because of your dream please i submit to that grace i am your husband but dream again now watch this this woman can be broke this man can be broke yet every prophetic word is increasing the members in his church because they have not submitted to that grace the day the woman says i know you are my husband let me tell you a story it's a true story many of you have heard it in my teachings a man of god's family was going down financially whereas he was blessing members testimonies people were coming with all kinds of testimonies one day just like a service like this imagine that your, the service is going on and then first lady just gets up and walks out of this place you know people will talk and say we hope things are fine she left and went home after the service he counseled quickly and rushed back home my wife what is wrong did i offend you she didn't say a word he just sat down at table to eat and he noticed she was bringing his meal did i offend you we can talk about this i mean what we've been married for a long time let's not get into all of this and she wouldn't say a word she served him and he noticed the plates women you know those plates you, yeah she brought it out oh. and she served the man and then she came dropped his bottle of water and got down and said servant of God my family is in need of a breakthrough listen the husband looked at her he said suddenly that same anointing he felt in church that refuses to come home because of dishonor that same anointing and he stretched his hand and spoke and God opened that family listen hear me listen there are many pastors whose relatives have never benefited from that grace because to them he's a brother or a sister listen to me only God knows what this man carries only God knows what this woman carries the day you discern what she carries you will carry the grace the day you discern what he carries the law of honor